Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Deanne Scanlon Show, presented by Option One Credit Union. I'm DJ Foster, joined by Grand Valley State Head Volleyball Coach Deanne Scanlon. Coach, uh, you had an interesting weekend, very entertaining weekend here mm -hmm. at home in Fieldhouse. Uh, three uh, home matches for you. Uh, we'll start with uh, Friday's match against Wayne State. You dropped the first two sets, but you came back to win the next two and tie the match up at 2-2. Then you went into a tough fifth set that was tied at 13-13. Uh, and Wayne State ended up scoring the next two points to get the win. Talk a little bit about how tough that match was. Yeah, you used uh, the adjectives interesting and entertaining, and yeah. I guess that's the best way to kind of describe the weekend. Uh, some good matches. Uh, but, yeah, Wayne State, uh, you know, they got out to a really good lead on us on, on Friday night, and part of that was due to us just not coming to play. Um, and it's hard to kind of right the ship when you're in the middle of, of all of that. Uh, you know, they're, they're a young team, but... Uh, in some ways a veteran team because all their, their kids played as freshmen. So even though they're sophomores last year, they've had that year to be together. And, uh, our, you know, like I said, they, they really uh, took it to us in, in games one and two. You know, our kids rebounded after the break between games two and three, and, and we handled them pretty solidly. It's just a really weird, maybe we should throw weird in there as an mm, adjective right. for that match too because basically every game was a blowout one way or the other, a right. blowout win for either us or them until we got to game five. But really in game five, we had control of that in several, we made several different different runs to take an, a, an advantage, but they would close the gap. And I sure. think we were up 12-9, and they outscored us 6-1 to one down the road to, yeah. to finish out. So, Then very little rest coming back. Uh, that was Friday night against Wayne State. Came back Saturday afternoon against Finley. Uh, teams alternated the first four sets. Finley right. winning set one, U2, Finley three, U4. And then you go again into the fifth set, mm -hmm. uh, the, the tiebreaker, and uh, again went down to 13-13. Right. Ended up... Um, outscoring them and winning 16-14 in the mm -hmm. fifth. So it was good to probably be on the other side of a five-set Yeah, match, because no? we came from behind in, in game five, you know, to come back. Um, and two back-to-back five-game matches, although they really didn't mirror each other in other ways, in any other way. I mm. thought we were a lot more competitive and came ready to play on right. Saturday. Um, Finley, um, you know, they just banged the ball on us. But our block, I, I think we could have had – uh, I think we ended up maybe with 14 blocks, but we very easily could have ended up in the 20s. Sure. You know, uh, they covered their hitters very well after we put a couple back down. Yeah. Uh, but uh, um, you know, it was good to see our kids kind of tough that one out, gut that ma match out a little bit to play in another um, tough match like that. I think it only makes you better down the road. We, what we would like to see certainly is us coming out and executing a lot sooner. Mm -hmm. But as long as we can find the ways to win and keep um, keep improving, that's what's important. So you had back-to-back five-set matches. Then Sunday, it didn't get any easier. You no. welcome number 10 Hillsdale in mm -hmm. for a top 20 showdown as you were ranked number 20. And as we talked about the other day, they ended up winning 3 nothing. but the score wasn't as, as uh, indicative of actually what happened. Yeah. A very competitive match between you yeah, and Yeah, I thought we played our highest level of volleyball. Um, offensive we definitely statistically played our best match of the weekend, um, which I thought was encouraging. You know, Hillsdale's a very veteran team, mm -hmm. returned all their starters, and uh, they they uh, they just were able to be more consistent. They didn't give us any points. You have to earn all your points against Hillsdale, right. where we're still giving a lot of points away. Um, and uh, I think we're getting better at earning points, at siding out and putting the ball on the floor, but we have to just not give teams other points off free balls or mistakes on serve receive. So after the three matches, it puts you at seven and five overall in the year. You're four and four in GLIAC play. Um, obviously, there's been some learning bumps with, with some of the youngsters. There's a learning curve there, and mm -hmm. you're going to have your ups and downs. But kind of what's your overall impression right now of your team? Yeah, uh, you know, we told the girls, you know, we're by no means – um, out of the postseason, but our mm -hmm. backs are against the wall. But uh, but uh, but I think our fate is in our own hands. We have, um, you know, three of the top teams in the region coming to play us on our home court in Saginaw and Ferris this weekend, mm -hmm. and then we still have Northern Michigan coming here later in the year. So if, if as long as we can still, like I said, not get discouraged and continue to improve. Um, uh, you know, I think we'll be okay, and I and I I like the way the girls uh, tackled and handled practice today. I you know I think they're all on board. They're certainly discouraged by dropping a couple matches this mm -hmm. weekend, but um, you know I felt like we were focused and get back to business and and uh, try to get some wins on the board this weekend. And as you mentioned, the schedule doesn't get any easier this no. weekend. You bring no. Saginaw in on Friday night at seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. You have Saturday off. Um, or from a game at least, right? Uh, and then, but then you have Ferris State, uh, who's in the top 20 now in the exactly. country on Sunday here at two o'clock. You just played them a few weeks ago. Talk a little about the weekend ahead. It's going to be another tough one. Yeah, you know, Saginaw had a had a good weekend. Um, they dropped, you know, Finley 
left here and then went over to Saginaw and beat <laughs> beat Saginaw 3-0. So right. the, the conference is just um, a little topsy-turvy this year, but Saginaw is a very good team. And then Ferris, you know, of course, beat uh, Hillsdale on Saturday 3-0. So they're definitely rolling. But mm -hmm. we want to get them in our gym, in our environment, on our home court, and, um, you know, put the pressure on them a little bit. Well, I wish you the best of luck this weekend, and we'll be here to hopefully reach you on for a couple of victories. Right. Thanks, DJ. Thank you. And thanks for watching the Deanne Scanlon Show here on the Grand Valley Sports Network.